Hi everyone. I was just messing around here with this piece of flame fusion tourmaline. And I squared it off. It's just the end cut from a pool. I squared it off. And I put... I'm going to make a, a square design here. Put the 32 facets on the bottom. Q-lit facets at the Q-lit angle. Suggested angle. And then to get my girdle straightened out, I put a couple of barium facets on the sides. So we've got that part completed. Next step is I'm going to go to 90 degrees and work on the girdle. I'm going to cut the corners off just to that one facet. So it'll be the width of the one facet right there in the corner. And that'll straighten the girdle line out. And then I'll go ahead and uh, polish up where the girdle's going to be. I'll probably put it at about 89 and a half, just so I can polish that top part and not the whole thing. And once we get that accomplished, we can glue it up for transfer. So that's where we're going to start right now. We're going to start on those facets on the corner. I'm going to cut them the width of that facet right there and that'll straighten out my girdle. So let's get to it. Riley's here to help. As, yep, as normal. She's up bright and early to help me. So we're going to get to that right now. Here we have our flame fusion tourmaline ready to transfer. We've got the girdle polished just on the top. We've got our side facets cut in. We're straightening out our girdle line. Everything seems to be ready to go. So I'm going to put it on the transfer jig and glue it up so we can start the crown. We have all our facets roughed in here on the top of this one. This is the synthetic, it's a flame fusion tourmaline. And on the bottom we did a pretty simple cut. We're just trying this out. We put 32 facets at the suggested culet angle and then we did four barium facets on the side to straighten out the girdle. On the top we're doing a pretty much a standard emerald cut, a step cut you might say. Um, we've got three steps in it, 10 degrees apart, and we've also done the corners at that point too. So, we're ready to polish those. After we get them polished, we will take it out and put it in the tabling jig and do the table. Alright, that's where we're at. Well, we have this synthetic tourmaline. The crown facets are polished up. It's a step cut on the top. I'm getting ready now to put it in the tabling top so I can cut the table. Well, here's our flame fusion tourmaline. has 32 culet facets on the bottom with four barians facets and on the top it's a step cut with a clipped corner it's about 10.1 millimeter in diameter and the weight is 7.195 carats. 7.195. Okay. We'll set it up on the turntable here and see what it looks like. <laughs> 